The 2021 season ended on Sunday for the Binghamton University men's lacrosse team. Normally closing a season before the playoffs may come as a disappointment. However, after a house fire displaced nearly half of the Bearcats team last week, they were grateful that they were able to finish the season together. In shock is a good way to put it, I'd say. It's just like, I can't believe our house is on fire currently. Like I'm watching my house burn down. Greenblatt was one of 14 Binghamton lacrosse players that lived in the Front Street house that was engulfed in flames last Wednesday. He questions what would have happened if his teammate Drew Furlong hadn't shown up to work on a finance project early that morning. And I went into the living room and I saw the, uh, the sofa was uh, in flames. And so uh, right away I knew that this was uh, something I couldn't put out by myself, uh, something we just couldn't really do much about. I kept screaming to try to get someone to wake up. Uh, thankfully, there is uh, a guy on that floor who uh, woke up, uh, started getting everyone out as well. Open up the door, and, they, and I'm hearing people yelling, fire, fire, fire. And I'm like, oh, God. And I like, look to my left, right where the staircase is, and there's just thick black smoke just running up the staircase. You can't even really see anything. All the players made it out just in time. The damage was so significant, the house was demolished later that day. Really, the, the guys lost everything. You know, they didn't have anywhere to go back into to, uh, you know, catch their breath. Teammates offered up their own clothes and shoes to help those displaced. The university stepped in and had the players stay at a hotel for a few nights before moving them into apartments downtown. There was also a GoFundMe that raised over $23,000 for the players. Despite not being able to play a game this season due to a foot injury, Furlong was clearly the Bearcats' most valuable player. Drew definitely saved us and we, we have a lot to owe to him and we're just grateful that he just happened to be there at that time. Honestly, if it was anyone else, they probably could have done a little bit more than me. Uh, I couldn't really run upstairs or anything, but um, I mean, I can't really put, put it to anything else that it was just fate that we decided to meet up at 9 o'clock and I walked in and I um, you know, was able to get everyone out. Companies such as Dick Sporting Goods and STX stepped in to help get the players back on the field. This allowed them to close out the season with a win Sunday, finishing with their first winning record since 2017 and a newfound appreciation for life. We were really lucky to even play in that game. Got delayed two days, so uh, we were all there. We are all healthy, and it was just amazing to be back with the team, back with the boys playing what we love.